In this lesson, we're going to be learning Stand Back by the Allman Brothers. Cool, funky blues tune. Um, <clears throat> not terribly difficult in standard tuning. So there's two guitar parts. There's the standard tuning and then there's the slide part that's in uh, open E. We're just going to be covering the standard tuning uh, version. So what probably what Dickie Betts was playing. Um, so uh, it's based out of um, E. So we start with this E, it's kind of a, well actually there's a opening riff. Um, let's get to that little lead thing. So we got this, the bass and the electric piano play um, a little riff and then there's these lead parts, double lead parts. And so it's uh, and then and then the riff starts. Okay, so that's E pentatonic minor basically. Starts on the 12th fret of the high E string, then 15 on the B, 12 on the B. Then you jump up to the D string, 12, uh, 14th fret. Then the 12th fret G. And then a pull off from 14 12. Like that. Then the next line is this kind of half bend. Starts the same way. 12, 15, 12. Back to 15 on the high E. You're going to bend it to kind of in between 16 and 17. So it's like that. Like that. Okay, now we're into the main riff. Okay, so um, it's an E7 chord basically. So it's it's fifth fret A string and sixth fret D string. But we're sliding up from a half step. Like that. If you played a E7 like this. It's that note, and then we're just playing the flat seven here lower than the root note. So if you have E, that's your flat seven. So we're playing those two notes. It's an interesting way. It sounds cool, funky. So slide from four, five to five, six. Then we have the riff. So that's two on the A. Then open A. Let's see, hold on. Sorry, open D. So two on the A to open D. Then two on the D. Then open D again. Then G, so third fret E, you're gonna slide to four then back to the second fret D string, which is an E note. One more time. Now it alternates between that last note, sometimes uh, alternating, it'll hit the low E string. So it's... Then the next time, Open E, and you just keep alternating like that. It's kind of staccato. It's not. You don't want to let it. You don't want to play it like ringing out. 
you want it to be more choppy. Okay. Now on the last time in the intro, it's going to end on the G. So the whole intro would be like. It's going to stop on that G. And then it kicks into the verse. Same riff for the verse. Four times. Then we're going to go to an A major chord. And we're going to alternate between a, 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 D, a, a over D. So that's. 4th fret D, 2nd fret B with your 2nd finger. So we're going to go. Like that. Then back to the riff. Then we're going to go to an F sharp dominant seven chord. Now on the record, <clears throat> the slide's just kind of holding the root note and then Dickie Betts playing this little riff, or you can just play an F sharp dominant seven chord. Um, but the riff that Dickie Betts plays, it starts on the, on beat two. So you gotta, you gotta, um, rest on beat one. So it's one, then we go to the B seven sharp nine. Um, so that riff is two to three hammer on on the G string and then to four on the D string. That's our root note. So it's a little, it's just a little blues riff over the F sharp diminished, uh, sorry, dominant seven chord. And it ends on the third fret of the G. So you do it four times. And then you go to the B7 sharp nine. So two, one, two, three. You're going to hit that twice. All right, so let's review from there. Let's play a whole verse. So we got the main riff four times. Then we go to our A. Back to the riff. Okay, so then we go back to the riff. So now let's take a look at the bridge. So the bridge is going to use E major root note on the uh, root root note on the A string. It's major bar chord. So I'm barring uh, the nines on the D, G, and B. Root notes on seven. Same shape for D. Then we're gonna go to A, G5, F sharp five. Okay, so it's the rhythm is down, 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 down. Like that, okay? back into the, the verse riff. Um, pretty simple there on the bridge, okay? So then you you play, that leads into a solo, you play the verse 
chord changes. I believe you play it eight times. twice there's a little bass solo you just do rest do it again then we're back to the third verse okay third verse is same nothing different there another chorus and then you go back to the um, main riff and it just fades out so that is the whole tune for stand back um, not much to it, really. It's a fun tune to play. It's got a cool, funky groove. That riff's fun to play. There you have it. Stand back by the Allman Brothers Band. Mm -hmm. 